understand, Lord, that you want us to bless us in every area. area. Yes, God. Lord, we love you. Lord, we, we love praise you. you. We magnify you. We, magnify you. we glorify you. We glorify For thou art the Christ. Yes. Instead of living God, in Jesus' name, we do you pray. pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on this way. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Let's say that song. We're going to sing this song one more time as we get ready for. Uh, we're going to get ready because we're starting out with this and we're going to get this way. Sister, let me call, I'm calling her Lady K. Um, and Lady K has some stuff that she got planned for you all today that we're going to get ready for. Um, this is going to start our presentation. This is these regiments and things that, that, that's going to be done going to be helpful to us all okay and we're going to tie this in to our health and wellness so then we're going to deal with physical health mental health and 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 uh, 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 emotional health and we're going to be dealing with financial health and wellness so we're going to deal with a lot of this so today um this week as we get ready to transition and sister kim getting her stuff together let us just say again come on in the room, say it with me, y'all know it now. Come on in the room where Jesus is my doctor. And he writes up, and he writes out all my scripture. And he gives me all of my medicine in my room. All right, so as I'm the person I'm going to bring to you, her name is... Kimberlyn Parker Clark. Miss Kimberlyn, she is um, a very energetic, motivated. Uh, she is in her spiritual life. She's a she's a, a, a woman of God. She's a, a a prophetess. She is a wife. She's a mother, and but she has she's a ball of. Uh, she's, oh, that's right. She's a grand. It's hard to tell her because she looks so young, which is part of the reason, you know, her giving, being able to do this because this is her regimen. These are things that she do to, because she doesn't look how old she is. Who knows she's about ready for retirement? Who would ever know? <laughs> Just listen. <laughs> But she is, no, but she, you still, I'll let her tell her own age. I'm not going to tell her age. But you still, you would know that she is a mother and a grandmother. And she runs from, and she's also spearheads our uh, morning prayer, 6 a.m. prayer that the church does. And she's a part of it. Come on, give God a hand clap for that. Amen. And so, but I don't, I look, I look at Sister Kim and I get absolutely tired. I just get tired. I just get tired because I don't know how she does it from sun up to sundown. And she still finds time to help people, still time, finds time to lend a hand, and never, ever, never, ever uh, uh, is too busy to give God praise. And so that's the one good thing about her. And she's going to, um, her husband is here, her children are here to, and I know y'all not saying, I'm not saying anything wrong, am I? That's who mom is, right? Yeah. So she is going to talk about her regimen. Let's give a hand clap to Lady K. Lady K. Lady K. Yes, yes. God bless you all. God bless you all. Um, I really didn't know how to prepare for this. The only thing that I can tell you is that whatever God tells me to do, I just do it. You know, if he tells me to move, I move. If he tells me to stop, I stop. But now lately, he's been telling me to rest. And I've been kind of a little hard-headed, you know, with resting. So I find my time when he tells me, Kim, you got to slow down. So this is what I start doing to help me slow down. Slow my body down, slow my mind down, and also keep my mind from, you know, going from here to there, doing this, and, you know, my to-do list. So, I mean to put the microphone down, but I'm going to speak loud, I promise. That's okay. follow me. How old is he? 15 months. 15 months. Wow, look at you, boy. I see you over there. Mm. In the morning, when I rise... Six, uh, 557 to get on the line for prayer. God always said, Kim, you get on your knees and you reverence me. You don't just sit there, you don't lay there, you honor me. So I honor him every morning by getting on my knees. 
And as I'm getting on my knees and I'm giving him praise and I'm giving him glory and I'm telling him thank you, I find myself holding my head down low. As I'm holding my head down low, I'm telling him thank you. I'm thanking him for everything that he's doing for me, everything that he's doing for my family, my church members, also my pastors and my leaders. Also, I thank him for my husband. Thank him for blessing my family. Thank you for keeping my husband with a good set heart mind to do what's right and pleasing unto you, O God. That's one of the poses in yoga. What you say? That's one of the poses in yoga. That's that reversing, giving honor, giving glory. One of the poses to show him relaxation. Reaching up, gently bringing yourself down, extending yourself, your arms out above your head. You can spread your hips a little bit. Placing your hands down in front of you, putting your head down, face down, stretching. Like I said, you can spread your hips a little bit to be able to extend, to feel. You're you're becoming one. One with God, one with the earth, and knowing that we are grateful for everything that the earth supplies to us, our food, our nutrients, and we're thanking God also for supplying those things, for supplying us, sufficient find us for everything that we need to do in this world. Bring it up slowly. Breathing. You got to remember, you got to breathe in and breathe out. As you're coming up, slowly extend. Bring your knees in. Take your arms. Extend a little bit. Bring your head up. Extend up. Look up. Remember, God says, look up for the hills that come with our help. Amen. Relax yourself. Bring yourself down. Go back. I'm going to need my daughter for this one. All right. She's my gym partner. (laughs) 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 On the part of extending of doing my left. You do your left and then your right leg. And I do my right. And you make sure to suck in your stomach, your core. Oh, you suck in your stomach to make sure that your core is engaged in this pose. That's similar to a plank, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what does that do? That 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 helps with our... It helps strengthen your core. Your it strengthens core. my core. Mm-hmm. How do I know my core is weak? <laughs> Uh, usually when you're slouching, you can't really Like the way much. I do all the time? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's dealing with your balance. Your balance. So, Kim, how long do we stay in that position? You don't stay long. Keep bringing your elbow in to the right knee. Extend. Try to do this. As you breathe in and out, mm-hmm. breathe in, breathe out. Put yourself out of that pose. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Do the same thing for the right side, which is right arm, left leg. Hey, you can go slower if you need to. You don't have to go fast huh? because it connects you to the movement and making sure that your core stays engaged. Next one is you show some uh, child's pose? No. You should probably show the child's pose. Yes, I'm That was perfect when you did the one over 
tips mm -hmm. and then sending your, um, your yeah. butt bags. Do you up. feel yourself getting more relaxed oh, with yes, you with the breathing? The breathing? Okay. Yes, and I noticed that you are on a, uh, this is considered a yoga mat that you're on? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And we can get those from where? You can get them five below. Walmart, Walmart yeah. Cheapest place is five below. <laughs> Do I need a yoga mat to do this? No, ma'am, you don't. You can use a towel. You okay. can also use a flat towel. Or you could be on the floor. Or I could be regular on the floor. Okay. I'll take you a razor and make you one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, but, uh, but think about it. A lot of people used to make their own stuff. Y'all y'all wearing clothes somebody else made. Me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I noticed that you're already perspiring. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And it's not that it's even hot in here. It just will... It's oh, I'm sorry. I have one flaw. She got her armor on. This helps you sweat. Oh, Bullet. it's a sweat vest? Yeah, that look bulletproof, too. <laughs> 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 it's it's kind of like a waist trainer. It helps you sweat. It also helps you keep your form. Tighten it as tight as you would like. All right. And it's... No, no sleeves. <laughs> gotcha. So that helps me kind of like help burn a little bit more. More, more. Yes, okay. It helps your posture as well, too. Yes, it's, and it helps posture. Like you said it helps more. posture. Mm -hmm. Remember, y'all, that those that are here with us on live, we're live streaming this at the same time. And so it, we, as we're talking, uh, Kim is, is, is showing us uh, uh, the regimens that's easy for us to get into. This is about health and wellness. It's about a wealthy a healthy, wealthy body and her regimen. You see how she's, Kim has been about the same size forever. So, so, so she, that means, you know, she may go a little bit, but she keeps it. So, uh, watch how she manages. Now she's getting ready to do something else. So go. Remember I said in the beginning, you just got to keep moving. Give yourself, you know, movement to your body. These are one pound weight. I use these when I'm on the treadmill or when I'm walking. But when you walk, everybody normally keep their arm right here. You don't understand that what you're doing is really you're putting strain on this. So you really have to keep your arms moving. Even if you move them back, move them up, move them to the side. This is why you're walking. Because this will get stiff, this will get stiff, and it's weighing you down. Your knees have to pick them up sometimes. Because your knees get stiff if you just casually it gets stiff. So you have to pick your legs up, bring your knees up. Also, for the ones that working on your core and you can't really, you know, hold your balance, lift your knees up, straighten your leg out, make it look easy. Lift your knees up, lift your leg, straighten your legs out. Also, flat on the floor. Open your hips. Close your hips. Open your hips. Close your hips. Same thing with your hands. Raise. Raise. Extend. Extend. Open. Ain't not really crash. Close. Bend. Bend. Tell the lady he likes it. <laughs> now that's a one pound. And believe me, you're sweat just doing that. <laughs> and so that helps sure with will. your yes, ma'am. With, oh, with the this flat. helps with the back. I'm talking about my flabby. Yeah, the yes, ma'am. Well, that's what they call. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but you know, the the flabby arms. It's what I call them, flabby arms. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The tricep. Extend it. Remember, you're not trying to hit the back of your head. You're just trying to just give yourself movement. Give yourself movement. One weight on your thigh. I mean, on your knee or your thigh. Extend. 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 I don't have enough room on this side, but you know. Same, same. Yes. Same, 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 yeah. Same, same. Very good. Also, you got to remember, 
even though you can't really get up. <laughs> yep. That's working these loops. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Hamstring. Yeah. Oh, hamstring. Mm -hmm. If you want to make it glute focus, you squeeze on the way up. Yes, okay. and that's but exactly what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Like squeezing your tush. Okay. The gluteus maximus. Yes, the glute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now she make that seem easy, don't you? Well, you really have to understand, you're not making yourself, you know, overexerting yourself. You're doing what you can. Mm -hmm. Even if you do like two twos, two fours, you know, or five fives, two six. It's, it works. It's just keeping yourself moving. A lot of times when you eat, everybody want to relax. Everybody want to lay down. Try getting up to help the food move. Okay. You know, take a little walk, take a little brisk walk, you know, talk, but walk, get moving, get moving. Because the food is just sitting there and that's making more sugar. That's making more pockets. Kim, tell me about your walk regimen. My walk regimen, we walk for two hours. Well, now, come on, please. <laughs> we two walk from two, two hours, hours Saturday morning. Two hours Saturday morning. We As a family. Two, As a family. Wow. Wow. Y'all right. give them a hand for that. All right. <laughs> All right. You mean your husband walked too? Yes. That man over there with yes. the big arms? He's the one that started. <laughs> he, he, was, he was the one that started every Saturday morning. Oh, right. Awesome. And we don't get up at 3, I mean, we don't get up at like uh, 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning. He gets us up at 5. 5? We get up at 5. He doesn't let us sleep in on Saturday morning. No, no sleep in. Wow. Anybody have any questions for Kim? Um, she, you know, she wanted to parse this presentation. And she wanted to plan it for like about 15 or so minutes. But it hadn't it been wonderful? Yeah. Come on, yes, give another yes, hand. Yes. Um, I but I need you all. Glory. She uses this because she, like I told you, she, she, she's very, a prayerful person. But she says she incorporates your worship and your praise with that. You want to talk a, just a couple of seconds about that? And if anybody have any questions, she's here as it relates to it. She's also will be here afterwards if you want to talk to her more privately. You you can. Um, but you about incorporating your your worship with what you do. And this is a uh, this is another um, vest to the the inside. You can see. Okay, that's why you swear. Yes. That's why you swear. Okay. And now and now for you guys that cheat. You can take a trash bag and put some holes in it <laughs> and do the same thing. Yes. I'm just telling you now, that's, if, if you cheat, you know. It works. It works. It works. It works. It works. But you had a question. We had a question on the floor. Say what now? As a matter of fact, we found both of these on Amazon. They were really inexpensive. The only thing is it just takes, you know, the two to three days to come in or if you don't have... Did you say you know, inexpensive or expensive? Inexpensive. inexpensive. Give us an example of inexpensive. Inexpensive. Because it's relative. Less know? than $20. Less than $20. So what's the name of it? What do you call it? What's the, what's the, they, they're different brands. That's the thing. It's no, none of them have a, like a set brand. It just Some of them are like generic. What you type in? With sweat vest, what do you call it? What do you call it? A waist trainer. And, and now, and now, also, can you We've use a that, sweat shirt if you want to? Yes, but to make it does you sweat, because if you're looking for the sweat. But how about the contouring? We talk yes. about the contouring, Pastor. Yeah. Okay. Pastor, we want to contour. We want to push the fat, our fat, oh. down and make it go away. Okay. But well, they got pills for that. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> It really means much to us. We won't just yeah. mm -hmm. let our work be in vain. That's right. That's just like, you know, if you're telling your children to save money and they, you know, every time they get a dollar, they're ready to spend it. But if they work for that dollar, I bet you they'll turn around and be like, no, I don't want to spend no money. I'm not going to spend my money on that. It means more. So this right here is letting you know it means a lot to you. It means All right. more to you. So you're not going to just misuse it. Now, to answer your question, Pastor, about how do I incorporate my exercise with my, my prayers, even when I'm walking on a treadmill 
And I know there are other people around me. I'm still walking and saying, God, you know, I trust you. God, I know things are going on. I, I really don't want to exercise right now, but <laughs> I got to keep this going and I got to keep this moving because you said my temple, my temple is a representation of what you're entrusting Ooh, me with. So what you're entrusting me with, Ooh, I got to take care of it. So if I'm taking care of it, I can't keep eating them cookies. I can't eat oh, no, that cake. Listen. I can't oh, just, keep eating that cake. <laughs> Come on now. Give me something good to think about eating. Oh, I can have a piece of fruit. Well, I don't know. Wait a minute. I do like the pineapple that they have at Publix. Oh, I do like that watermelon they have at Publix. Oh, yes. I forgot about them strawberries. Yeah. You know what? I'm thinking about what can I have with them strawberries. I could have some ice cream. Right? No, no. I can go get some yogurt. Dip my strawberry, dip my pineapple, and some yogurt. All right. I got it. I got us a meal. Come on. Let's go. Let's do this. We doing this. We got it. I'm keeping my mind stayed on him because that's what he said. Keep my mind stayed on him and all my things, all my words, all my concern are still being laid at his feet. All right. Through my walking, through my talking. Even sometimes when I'm talking and other people looking around, who is he talking to? They think I'm talking on the phone. Because I got headphones on. So I can't hear them. I can't really see them. So during my walking, during my talking, I say, yes, I like this. Yeah. <laughs> and so he, I go to my husband and say, See? <laughs> Come on, y'all, let's give him a big hand. All right. Well, have a seat. Have a, anybody got any questions? They're getting the formal name of that, BJ. They're getting the formal name of that. Yes, and so she'll be able to tell you what it is. There be. Come on, let's give Kim another big hand. Yeah. She said that you can find that yoga mat. At Ross or Walmart, anywhere, the weights as well. You can find the weights at Five Below also. Five Below, so. Yeah. My, do my, my granddaughter Amber said Five Below be lying because it be like stuff in there for $10. <laughs> 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 but we, uh, we, let's give her another hand. You know what I'm, let me tell you what I hear. Let me tell you what I hear when I, when I, when I, when I'm listening at um, Kim. There's a song that says, you gotta move. All right. You come on, help me, help me, help me. You gotta move, you gotta move. You gotta move, you gotta move. You gotta move, you gotta all move. All right, all right. For when the Lord get ready. Glory. You gotta move, you gotta move. You, you gotta, gotta move. move. Oh, you gotta move. 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 move. When the Lord, Lord get ready. That's what she showed us. You gotta move. Gotta move. You gotta move. Come on, let's clap our hands. Hallelujah. Now we're getting ready for an, uh, another awesome presentation. We call her at this church. We call her Dr. J. Don't we? Don't we roll roll? We call her Dr. J. And Dr. J, um, she is a woman that has, she's full of these, I'm going to tell you what she's full of. She's full of this. I'll see y'all later. Okay. Uh, how do I call it? Old lady wisdom? No, she won't say that because she don't want to be old. Because <laughs> what we're going to call it, Dr. J, come on close, Dr. J, because I'm, I'm going to bring you, I'm going to introduce you, I'm going to bring you up. And bring that t-shirt, watch the t-shirt, t-shirt, t-shirt. Go that way. Go look at Kim. She'll show you what I'm talking about, her t-shirt. Um, in front of her, in front of her, in front. Oh, yeah. Oh, see? Oh, yeah. Okay, so um, Dr. J, she is a mother. Yes. Grandmother. Yes. Wife. Great. I know she won't want me to say that, but yeah, she, Great. <laughs> now she want me to say wife material. <laughs> <laughs> great grandmother. Great, great grandmother. Great grandmother. Great she is, she is a worshiper, she's a praiser, she's a motivator, she really encourages if you're feeling down. How many have ever got one of those, come on, you can do it calls from Sister Joanne. Come on, clap your hands. How many ever got one of those, you know, you all right? You welcome call. Uh, matter of fact, all down there in Tallahassee, Mother Max, she said, she talks about how she talks to Dr. J, how they late night people. I'm going like, well, when does Dr. when does she ever sleep? Because she is always up any time of night. She 
always answers the phone. Hi, queen. And she answers it just as if she's never been asleep. She says she's asleep, but I don't know how. But she has a lot of this wisdom as it relates to holistic medicines. When I say holistic medicines, that means those herbs. That means those things that uh, come that God made from the earth, right? All right. All right. Those things that the what oils, the oils that come from nuts, the oils that come from the plants, the different things that they're all natural and holistic. Um, she, my husband, he has to take a uh, 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 for those of uh, who drive trucks, they know they have to do these yearly exams. Two years. And to every, yeah, every two years, they have to do those exams. And him and her brother-in-law and a few others, when it comes time for them having to go to the doctor, they go to Dr. J because it's something that she does that can bring their pressure right on down. So when they go before the that doctor, they're not worried and, and pressurized, but she can tell you all about that stuff. You know, they're decriminalizing uh, uh, cannabis now simply because they know it was from the earth and the many medicinal properties that it did they you know it was too many to count and it helped so many people and so she's going to talk about all this stuff in her own way she said y'all just let her be who she is Amen. so come on let's welcome uh doctor we call her her name is joanne nunnally but we like to call her dr Hi, j lady. uh sometimes right, she'll even go right. by lady j when she got on her other hand so come on dr j come on dr j, dr. j. we love you dr j come on dr. J. you want this Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. I know everybody is doing great on this great Saturday morning. God is good. God is good. Yes, yes. I'm gonna I'm not gonna keep you long. I'm just gonna talk to y'all about some essential oils first. Then I go to my my main my main my main baby right here, my natural herbs. Uh, essential, a lot of people want to know what essential oils are. All there is is plants. I talk with my hands. Yes. All they are are essential oils, and I have a few samples. I didn't do them all. What I do, I order my essential oils, from a wholesaler, and I bother and package them myself. Do you sell them? I will sell them. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> but I just like to bless people. Okay. So I'll bless you with some. You want to give me a donation? That's fine. If not, you're free. They're free. Thank God for them. Essential oils come from the earth. They come from flowers. They come from plants. They come from trees. God created all of those things. A lot of people think that why we use essential oils? They come from the earth. God made them. They all, all seeds and herbs and uh, all come from the trees. You, they extract it. The way that they extract this oil from trees is so amazing how they just process the whole thing with plants and flowers. It takes a lot of them, but it's just amazing on how they process this. Because they, you have to get the oil. You can steam them, you know, and get the oil. You can steam them down. I tried it, but mine didn't turn out like this. But it works. It works. But uh, the first one I want to talk to you about is lavender. Lavender oil. Lavender is good for so many things. We thought it was just good for a few things, but it's good for a lot. It helps you. Down. It helps you calm down. It smells okay. good. It smells good. And I'm gonna let y'all pass it around. Let y'all get a swift of it. Get, get a swift of it, y'all. <laughs> you can smell it when I do. Mm -hmm. I just take my dropper. Take my dropper. Put it in my hand. Put it in my hand. Drop. You can use a carrier oil if you're sensitive. 
if you stressed or you know just not feeling your best or just like you know what I'm just I can't sleep you know a lot of times you're tired but you can't sleep you can put it on your and just calm like this and just breathe and just now and it just calms you down or you can take a drop or two put it here and it's in your bloodstream but what I found out that works even faster I mean the bottom of your feet really? massage your feet with it yes <laughs> it works faster getting your bloodstream faster in the bottom of your feet. In the bottom yes. of your feet. Yes. yes. All of your nerves, articles, all the way to the bottom of your feet. Amen. Your big toes considered as your heart. What you say? Amen. <laughs> on this side is Teach like us, your girl. spleen. Teach us. Yes. <laughs> and on the other side is your kidneys. Your middle ways is like your stomach. And your heel is just like muscles like in your thighs wow yes. so it gets your bloodstream quicker Amen. and it works it works it helps me awesome it helps me it helps awesome. me to calm down so dr j you're saying understand what all we need that's for the impact and we can rub it in at the area that needs it so if i'm having um let's just say something with my lungs, you know what I'm saying. So there's a part of my on my foot that will actually coincide with that. That's like interesting. In center, like in this center. center, not in the exact center, but it's a little offset from. That center. is very you interesting. You just massage it. You can even sometimes you can just massage your feet, and you feel so much. Mm -hmm. That's why. Wow, that is what oxygen is like going. Brooks, I mean, like you know, it makes oxygen flow yes, faster. That's, like that's why a pedicure feels so good, huh? Yeah. Oh wow! Ah, I got that's you. Yes. Amen. Okay, the, my uh, next one is you know, lavender. It's also you can put it in your bath water, or you can put it in the shower when you're taking a sh shower. Be careful because it's slippery. Mm -hmm. Don't put it where you stand. Put a few drops on the side while the steam coming. And our, while you're taking your bath, you can inhale it. Or you can put it in your shower gel. Put a few drops with your soap. And take your bath. And it just, it just makes you, you know, it just relax. Because lavender really is supposed to make you sleep. Most people use it for a sleep aid. But it's much more than that. Excellent. Oh, that's why lavender is your levels on it? Yes. Oh, yes, right. I'm right. I'm right. <laughs> she knows. Amen. The next is the eucalyptus, which is excellent for everything. Well, it's even good. good. Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. <laughs> eucalyptus. Mm -hmm. That's respiratory, right? Yes, ma'am. You can use it for respiratory. You can use it for pain. You can use it for... It's good for pain? Yes, ma'am. If you have any... Eucalyptus. Like I say, I'll just like... You know, if pain. I need to quick, quick, I put a couple of drops in my hand and just, and just breathe it in. If you're having pain, put it wherever the pain is and just massage it in and the pain subsides. But actually, if you have a diffuser, it works. If not, you have an old pot. Just put it on the stove. That's what I do when my grandkids are sick or having upper respiratory allergies and all that. Put a few drops in a pot. Just let it boil. So you can't put too much because it is strong. You put about three, four, five, six. See how that is. If it's not strong enough, go. And it's good. It, 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 it just opens up your respiratory. It clears out all of the mucus and fleeing that you have. All of that, it just come out, it just come out, it just come out, and it makes it easier to die. Or you can uh, just put it a few drops. You can rub it on your chest. You can put it behind your ears and your temple. And it's good for your sinuses. 
I know that. <clears throat> Everybody understand what she's saying about them oils? Some of those oils do a lot of mir miraculous kind of things. <laughs> yang Yang, Lang Lang, or Yang Yang? Did y'all hear when she say Lang Lang? Or E Lang Lang? E Lang Lang. Alyssa said that's that good oil. This is good. What is it good for? It'll break heat. It's great for the trash. Wow. Y'all hear that? I have a few people's on it, and they got great benefits. Oh, I need some of that. So much benefits. Y'all better put your order in, because I like she write the prescriptions. <laughs> <laughs> some oil like, scriptions. You, you know, you can just and you can sprinkle it, you know, around your bed. If you don't want to do the diffuser or use the steam, but I just like the steam of the steam the whole time. So you, go in, you know, you can smell it and you keep smelling it. So the more you smell, you know, the better you feel. The better you feel. And then it's a good sleep aid as well. Oh, yeah. 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 And it gets you in a better mood. Excellent. You know what we forgot to do? What? To say the, the the disclaimer that we're not making. <laughs> no, she she's holistic. She's holistic. She's not, she's not no, claiming to be a medical doctor. That's right. There you go. There you go. Natural. That's right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. I am not a doctor. That's right. She only you plays one here in our region. <laughs> you, I'm not mm -hmm. telling you to stop taking your medicine. That's Please right. That's right. This is to go along I'm with it. Drive you Oh, no, natural, natural. Natural. You can. no, take your medicine. Go get your checkups, you know, get your physical. All right, thank get you. Get your, um, <laughs> uh, you know, your prostate, ex you know, exam. Men. Men. Ladies. Ladies, you don't breast. have prostate. Men do. <laughs> Get your breast exams, get all, you know, get all the great benefits because you know what, everything, if we come, if we do have anything, fine, if the doctor find anything on those tests and they find it early, it's, you, you know, great scientists out there, you know, that it is treatable. So, Give me a boy. Please. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. Go to the doctor. Yo, for self. Self. Because God uh, created the go. doctors. Mm. He created great doctors, great RTB scientists, me, great you researchers. They are working mm. every day. Mm. 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 You want to go outside and get a switch for auntie? Yeah. For <laughs> no, please. Yes. Get your medicine. Mm. Mm. Um, those are all my oil, but it's just so many oil. You know, you have the merle. That is really good for pain and relaxing. And I left my paper, y'all. So that's how <laughs> you mean help move, I'm just, help you a little I'm bit. Just doing my vicaria oils. A lot of people want to know. And sometimes, if you have sensitive skin, some of this is a little strong. But mine is 100%. It's not. It don't have any carrier oil like the one that you buy. You know, you might buy some that already have the carrier oils in them, and some of them don't. So if you if it's if when you try it and you know you feel a little burning or whatever, get you some coconut oil or even vegetable oil and uh, just wipe it off and it'll stop instantly. But don't put water on it. Water make it burn more. I want to help uh, Dr. Jane because I know we got some food here and we don't and know she she be conscious about her grits. <laughs> um, but I want to talk about ginger. What are the some of the the, the the what you when you your ginger what are some of the things you do with your ginger ginger i make most of my teas from i make uh most of my herb medicine from which i have some right here and she has good. sample cups and so you can get a little bit samples that is good for high blood pressure i know to take it down uh and then i have this one here this is a great um what is that <laughs> Garlic. This is garlic, ginger, celery. Garlic. This that's pasta's concoction. Uh, uh This is. Oh, this is concoction. But pasta has a concoction that he drinks. Yes. And then he dumps it over into his vegetables and eats it. And then 
you can you carry your own with like coconut oil. You can mix all this in. You can also uh, use it some. You mean your your essential oil? Yeah, you can mix it with that with your um, essential oil. These are carry oil, olive oil, uh, coconut oil, grape seed oil, almond oil, even vegetable oil. You can use along with your essential oil. If you if you can't use them, you know straight up, natural. straight up. Mm -hmm. Now, see, so you down. got a hundred percent honey. Yes, ma'am. That's your sweetener that you you like to utilize. Yes, ma'am. This is my raw honey. You can take a teaspoon and it calms you down. It's good for upset stomach, and it's also good for um, detox. Wait, detox. wait, wait, wait. Oh, slow down. I thought all honey was raw. <laughs> Don't it come um, from bees? No, some the pro it's processed. <laughs> some some people will mess with it and not make it raw. So that's why you gotta read your labels, Pastor Edwards. Okay. Yes, sir, sir. I'm, just, I'm just asking. Yes, sir. I'm because asking. That all honey is not all equal. Honey is not the same. Oh, all okay. honey is not the same. Okay. And if the best honey is the raw, unprocessed honey. Okay. And you have uh, apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. This is my favorite. This is my this is my baby. She have it even in those. And she even have it in those little. You go to her house. She got it in a spray thing where she's spraying in with, every room. I got it in my kitchen, my bathroom because of the great disinfectant. Sure is. And it's good for high blood. I, I use it for high blood pressure, my diabetes, uh, and it's good for pain. And it's, it's very good, good for joint pain with a lot of water, Brother Lawrence. <laughs> Bro, we will you be talking about Ro -Ro -Ro. more water, Roro? -Ro. More water. You don't have to if you can't find the um the uh uh ginger in the root. You can use the powder. It works just as good. Both of them is good. Yes, Doctor J. A lot of people, um, especially within our community, deal with diabetes and arthritis. One, the arthritis deal with inflammation when inflammation is built up in the system. What is your you, what kind of things do you deal with the, 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 to lower inflammation? Apple cider vinegar, ginger, garlic. Garlic, that garlic be even lemon. And lemon. Not and just the juice. Do you take turmeric? Yes, do you do the turmeric? Yes, ma'am. And how do we find the turmeric? Can't find the root. This works just as well. And you take that. How do you take that? How do you? I just use like just a pinch to your tasting because it is strong. Mm -hmm. You only need just a little bit, just a little bit. That's and you mix it, it in like a tea, yeah, or you can whatever. Mix it with tea, or you can just take it. What? Naturally, it just take it naturally. Just wow. Pinch, put it in your mouth and just drink some water. Some water. So if you experience water, any kind of inflammation, inflammation is good that's you. built up, like in your joints and all, this turmeric is what, what to do. Really and again, the uh, pastor would like us to make sure we do our disclaimers that we're not medical doctors, but we are, um, this is a holistic approach that you add along with what your medical doctor has said. And some of these things are very proven. Olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. It's really good. Very, very good. Dr. J uh, gave my daughter a remedy. My granddaughter, my uh, Aaron, was having a, a diaper rash and was experiencing a diaper rash. She told her, go rub some olive oil and some coconut oil. My daughter called. She said, tell Dr. J that rash went away overnight. That it went away overnight. Come on, y'all clap it in. So it, these are proven kind of remedies. Now, Dr. J is going to be here. She has samples. She has little cups that you all can take little swigs of uh, that you can just taste and you can just see. Um, definitely uh, to contact her, you just let me know. And that big onion, let me tell you, she got my my, my pastor, my husband, y'all pastor, my husband, my husband pastor. You know, <laughs> I'm going to tell you what he'll do. Sometime when he get ready to do the detox, now he just, I don't know why he do me like this, but he'll go take a whole bag of garlic, put it in the thing, a whole thing of onions, cut them all up, and then he'll just eat them, and then come around me. Now see... <laughs> No bugs bother me. Either. No, no. <laughs> the bugs in his wife will bother him. <laughs> the garlic not But he will do it. But if you don't like to, you know, eat raw onion or garlic, you can peel it, the garlic and the onion, 
and just take you purely kind of thick at night. Put it on the bottom of your feet, wrap it with some saran wrap. So Whoa! It's an amazing detox. You hear that? It takes your sugar down. Oh, I hear Lawrence! That. No, Lars needed to create an MMM. It's true. You hear that? Y'all hear these little things? These little next night. Look, there's these little outside things, not even ingesting. You're doing it on your body. But some of these are worth a try. I think mm -hmm. they are worth a try. Um, come on, y'all. Let's give Top and Jay a big hand clap. We're being mindful uh, because we wanted y'all to get this food while it's hot and while the grits are still. Are uh, still doing what they do, but in the briefest moment, we're gonna have um, Doctor uh, uh, Doctor. I don't know why I'm doing this, but we want uh, to call all the way from Sumter County, um, but she works for the City of Albany. We're gonna ask um, Mrs. B Betty Jean Jackson Burton to come and give us a little bit of of, of of what she does, how she does, and just as just when we do call, talking about our financial wellness, but he's, uh, but also to just speak to what we're doing this month um, as fair housing, but as it relates to housing and building wealth. I just want to talk just a teeny bit. We don't have a lot of time. So give me a good three minutes. Let me wipe this off and give it to you. I know you know how to speak, but we're glad to have you. Will you show you? Everybody said they don't need it, but don't be talking loud. Oh, I can talk loud. Thank you so much for having me here today. I am here with the City of Albany Community and Economic Development. And as we said earlier, we are uh, celebrating National Fair Housing Month. In addition to that holistic health that you all are doing, you need a decent, safe, and sanitary place there to do all this in, especially when you're doing it at home. So that's our goal. The city has an affordable home ownership program where we can help you uh, purchase your first home, make down payments, closing costs, and in some cases, do 100% financing. We have open house on Thursday from 9 to 12. So come by. You can find out about all the programs that we have in-house that we're talking about. And our future plan is to uh, start building up this side of the town. east side. East side. East side. That's our assignment, y'all. That's our assignment. Understand your assignment. Understand your assignment. We have identified on the Old Oak Carroll a, a, a plot where we want to do some senior boarding homes. So I'm taking applications now. So let's get started. Let's build your credit up. Let's get the well in place and get some savings going so that you can qualify. So let me say, come down Thursday from 9 to 12, open house. We'll have refreshments. We'll have NID, housing council agencies, and over your bank. The uh, Albany Utility will be there with us as well as DCA if you need some assistance with um, rental and utility bills. So and not only that, talk, talk, to, we're going to have our first time home buyer class. That's um, also Wednesday, Wednesday right. and Thursday. Wednesday so. evening at 5 o'clock uh, is our first part one of home buyer's education. And Thursday, we'll close out with the second part from 5 to 8. It's virtual uh, this time. But June, June is coming. June is National Home Ownership Month. And we're going to go all out for the month of June about home ownership. We're going to be all over the city of Albany. We will have an open house home buyer's education class on June the 11th from 9 to 4. So come join us. Thank you for having me. And remember, fair housing is for everyone. We are trying to promote for housing solutions for everybody, regardless of where you come from, what your background is, because everybody deserves decent, safe, and sanitary housing. Thank you. All right. 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 So we have we, for those who now for those that are joining us on on live stream we can't help you about this part okay we've given you all what we can give you as it relates to the information that we can feed out to you but now we're getting ready to feed our face right with all this health and wellness we have uh you saw dr j not only is she good with all the things that she does but she's also a fantastic cook Matter of fact, you got plenty of cooks up in here. Um, but she has taken it upon herself to do this healthy brunch. She had passed on her mind and said, "We doing turkey bacon." My grand and my grand and my granddaughter said, 
I don't like turkey bacon. <laughs> and Dr. J said, I don't either, but I'm cooking it. <laughs> but we have we have all the healthy options. Can you tell us, Dr. J, what we got? Let's get everybody just feeling some kind of way over this live screen. Because if you're in the Albany area and you want to drop by, you'll be able to drop by because we got plenty, plenty of food. We can text them a plate. We can text, Pastor said we can text y'all a plate. <laughs> So th just tell us what we have before Pastor come and say grace. Give me, tell me what, what uh, what's the menu today? We have turkey bacon, turkey, turkey bacon, sausage. turkey sausage. We have um, baked chicken, baked chicken. chicken, baked chicken. We have Jamaican greens with Jamaican grits. Greens with with grits. grits. Jamaican greens and grits. <laughs> <laughs> Jamaican greens and grits. We have vegetable muffins. Vegetable. <laughs> we have a <laughs> we have Cajun mixed vegetables. Cajun mixed vegetables. Fruit, fruit, fruit. We got plenty of fruit. As a matter of fact, we have a smoothie bar. It is. Yes. We have a smoothie bar for those who want a smoothie with fresh fruit. You can make your smoothie with the fresh fruit. We also have uh, fixes with coffee, orange juice, apple juice, and. And look like some kind of vegetable water. No, that's lemon, <laughs> lemon, mint, mint, cucumber, water. cucumber water, lemon, mint, cucumber water. <laughs> Very refreshing. Very refreshing. Refresh that. Pot. Refreshing water, lemon, mint, cucumber water. It, it, and this is how how young you look at the eat. And you know I'm gonna get coffee because she got a real. <laughs> <laughs> so we gonna do all that. So we but we and, but this, and look here and we have we have glasses with strawberries on them. Yeah. I am that cute. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope we got us that to all. Oh, so Pastor Edwards is coming to say grace. That and like champagne. <laughs> we understood the assignment. We understood the assignment. So we're going to enjoy this, you all. We're going to be signing off after Pastor says grace. And you all, if you're in the Albany area, come on, join us. Come on, join us. Come on, join us. Hallelujah. Even though I already. Pastor. Lord, we thank you for blessing this food and sanctifying for the nourishment of our bodies. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Thank you for blessing the hands that prepared it. Blessings the hands that prepared this room and prepared this table. Didn't we they thank do a you, great God, job. for everything you've done that you're doing for us. In Jesus' name, we love you. We praise you. Thank you, Lord, for everyone this year. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I, I, before you all come, and we'll be coming, we'll start. Um, with the first table and just go all around and whatever you need, just let us know. Um, but we want to give a big, yes, I'm so sorry, Pastor. But let's give a big old shout out to those that decorated this, this yeah. empowerment center. Isn't it absolutely wonderful? Sister Kim, Sister Joanne, yeah. Sister Chetta. Sister Chetta made all those balloons. Didn't she do a great wow. job? Did an awesome job. So we are so glad we're getting ready to embark with our with everything. So thank God for each and every one of you. We're free to sign off. God bless you. Amen. All right. Thank God. Let's eat. Thank God. Let's eat. So with lightweight foods, you can eat a lot. <laughs> No, why are you taking a video of the food? I want everybody to see, everybody to see. Look at all this good old food, y'all. I did it already. Look, oh, you did it already, Pastor? Why are you talking so I'm letting y'all see, because look at them vegetable muffins. It ain't sweet. I don't want them. So this is how you fix it if you want to fix it. And look at this is a Jamaican grit plate. See how pretty that Jamaican grit plate is? That looks mighty good. All right. All right. All right, y'all. God bless y'all.